We officially begin the second half of conference play this weekend. Everybody's played nine games and everybody's got nine games to go. Hey everybody, welcome into this week's installment of Around the Rim. I'm Aaron Pryor. This week, we focus on one Thomas DeZagua. You might know Thomas as the sharp shooting bow and arrow guy from Oklahoma State. He can hit threes like nobody else. But DeZagua is a bit deeper than just a sharp shooter and bow and arrow guy. In fact, the word deep may not even begin to scratch the surface of who Thomas DeZagua really is. To understand Thomas DeZagua, it helps to understand where he came from. Thomas is one of four children to Don and Mary DeZagua and grew up in northern Tampa, Florida, where he attended Tampa Catholic High School. DeZagua, a liberal arts major, is studying philosophy and religion at OSU, something he grew up around and has always had an interest in. Both my parents are teachers. Uh, they work at a, a Catholic school uh, and like, I guess the basis of like Catholicism has a lot of like philosophy behind that. But besides the philosophy, like when it comes to reading, both my parents were educators and in my house there's bookshelves and bookshelves and bookshelves. There's probably thousands of books in my home just because of my dad's an avid reader and my mom's an avid reader and my sister's an educator as well. So kind of in our household it was all about reading and soaking up knowledge and being like a uh, forever learner. Like you can never stop learning. Well, he just brings a unique perspective um, because as good of a basketball player as he is, he doesn't let the game define him totally. Um, he takes a lot of pride in working really hard, but he also knows there's more to this than just being a good guy, being good at making three-pointers, right? Uh, so he helps stimulate thought in our locker room and helps generate conversation. It's sometimes pretty lighthearted, sometimes it's a little bit heavier, but uh, it's, it's good in all ways for our guys. Known as the team philosopher, DeZagua spends his downtime learning, whether it be visiting a museum or reading, meditating, or even exploring centuries-old text. During the fall, Thomas started reading the Bhagavad Gita, a second century 700 verse Hindu scripture centered around the philosophy that we all have inner battles to fight. Yeah. It's pretty heavy stuff. When I came to college and I took a, like a couple of philosophy classes, it, it was like like a mental exercise. Uh, like the the topics are sometimes controversial, but not even controversial. They're very like hard to like uh, debacle in your mind. You had to like actually sit down and think, and uh, you become more with like yourself. He's a little more outspoken now than he was, but I think he was always uh, very insightful. Uh, someone who had a lot of interest in. You know, just soaking up as much knowledge about different subject matter, uh, about different cultures, uh, about people. Um, he gets along with everybody on the team, no matter where they're from, what age they are, um, because he can speak to them uh, in ways that they understand. Dezagua's unique ability to connect with anyone and everyone has been a huge help to head coach Mike Boynton. Heading into Saturday's game with Baylor, DeZagua is averaging nine points and shooting 42% from three. He's third in the league in three-point percentage and in threes made per game. Oh, and that bow and arrow thing he does? Of course, there's a deeper meaning than just hitting a target. I mean, you can't just throw a, a bow and arrow straight and it won't go far, but you have to pull it back. And kind of in life, you have to go through some adversity to catapult forward. And I think that resonates a lot with me, uh, I guess. I've played every role on a basketball team. I've been the, the bench warmer, the towel guy, uh, to starting, to being a captain. So um, I had to go through adversity of not playing and working really, really hard to the success I've had now, but, and continue to working, no doubt. But uh, I had to go through some adversity that's catapulted me forward. During our time together in the fall, Thomas told me that he could surprisingly see himself following in his family's footsteps and becoming an educator as well. That's all the time we have. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time for more Around the Rim.